what is green card lottery? I think this is the first question we needed to ask ourselves before we go for the results. I know there are some people who had opportunity to apply for the diversity visa lottery. Maybe that was their first time to apply. Or sometimes one person is in America, knows about the diversity visa lottery, asking you the information, and they are going to fill the lottery application on your behalf. But you don't have a clue what diversity lottery is all about. So in order for you, whether you have applied the lottery before, and now you are waiting for the results, or you are planning to apply in the upcoming diversity visa lottery, I need for you to understand just in a high level what is diversity visa lottery, or rather, what is green card lottery. For starters, let me start with this way. Green card. Yes, the word is green and the card. The card which is green. But what is that card? The card which is green is official nickname of the permanent residence status of the United States of America. In that way, if you apply for whatever way you want to use and become a green card holder or a permanent resident of the United States of America, your life changes completely in terms of the benefits, in terms of access to types of jobs, the amount of hours, where to live, what to report to the government, how many times you can do one, two, three, or how you can be able to sponsor someone, invite someone. There are so many benefits within what we call the green card as a status. There are so many ways of one person to become a green card holder or a permanent resident. To mention a few, marriage. If you get married to a U.S. citizen, sometimes the marriage will, dif will differ in terms of if a green card holder marries a person, Yes, they'll get a green card, but it takes longer. So I can simply say there is a family-based immigration or family sponsorship to become a permanent resident. Whether marriage, a parent applying for a child, a child is sponsoring the parent, a child by the age of 21 and above, uh, kind of that, whatever. So there are aspects of a family sponsorship to become a permanent resident. On my case, I became a permanent resident of the United States through marriage. So I didn't win the diversity visa lottery. I got through marriage. There are people get permanent residency status based on other ways. Some people get it through asylum, becoming refugees. There is a difference between asylum and refugee, but there are those other ways. Some people get it through employment sponsorship. And then some people get through what we call the lottery system, which is the diversity visa lottery. In a very high level, in 1990, there was a law enacted by the Congress, Immigration and Nationality Act of 1990, was designed to try to continue to bring more diversity in the United States of America. So they started what is called the lottery system to bring people from the countries which have less immigrant. And I've been saying over and over, when we say immigrant, we mean permanent residents. I don't mean international student. So in the context of the diversity visa lottery, they take people or immigrant, when they're calling immigrant to count, that the countries with less immigrants, meaning the countries with less than 50,000 immigrants in the last five years. That means if a country A has less than 50,000, 
green card people, like people have been given a green card, not exceeding 50,000. If it's less than 50,000, that country is going to continue to be in the process of being less representative country. But not all immigrants, uh, uh, green cards are counted as a less represented. They are counting uh, green cards by employment and the green cards by family sponsorships. They are not counting through refugees, through uh, 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 asylum, or through uh, by lottery. So the countries which they exceed that 50,000 in the period of five years, that means it has more people. So that country is going to be removed. At one point each year they count. If the country is going to be less that number, that country is going to be brought back to the application. We have seen there are countries like Guatemala was not in the previous diversity visa lottery, 2020, 2022, in the V2023 was brought back. Nigeria in Africa is the only country which is not eligible at the moment. So there are countries can come in, Venezuela was, now is not. Is, it, so it is just depending on the number of immigrants are available or going to be part of that one. So that is just the basic. So it is this green card the, itself, it is a free program. It's a free on the application time, not after winning. The application is free of charge. But once you win the process, then you need to pay money. And you come to America from day one, you are immigrant as you are given immigrant visa to come to America and become a permanent resident of the United States of America. That is a high level of what is green card lottery. Then we are going to deal with the other aspects of green card and green card lottery.